A day in the life of a neurosurgeon, Nashville edition. After I finished my surgeries on Friday, I went home, packed up, and got ready to leave. My husband, my PHS, and me made the four-hour drive to the country music capital of the world. My husband did the drive, and I did the sleeping. I don't know about you guys, but anytime I take a road trip, I pass out in the car. There is a one-hour time zone change, and we arrived at 8 o'clock that night. We got there and checked into our hotel, and we stayed at the Joseph's. This hotel is in the heart of Nashville, and it's super nice. Because we travel so much, I get a lot of points, and we were able to use our points to upgrade to this beautiful, amazing suite. It even had a rain shower. It had a gorgeous view of downtown Nashville, and it was absolutely breathtaking. Anytime we check into a hotel, we have to unpack all our bags and do all the setup before we can get out and start doing stuff. I then made myself a shot of espresso, and then we got dressed to go out to go to dinner. It actually took me quite some time to figure out how to use that Nespresso machine. The hotel even left us this really sweet note. We walked from the hotel to the restaurant and had to take this picture, of course, and got to Eddie V's Seafood House at about 8.30. I've never eaten here before, and it was really, really good. The vibes here were immaculate. For dinner, I had the ahi tuna entree, and then they had this amazing bananas fostered dessert where they actually poured the fire over the cake. How cool was this? Anytime bananas fosters on the menu, I'm definitely gonna order that. We then went out for a quick little honky tonk before we went to bed. I didn't wanna stay out too, too late because I had to teach a lab the next morning. Walking around in downtown Nashville is so fun, and this was Jess's first time in Nashville, so we wanted to give her the full experience. Forgot to bring my boot tree, so I had to use my husband to do the job. I woke up at 6.30 the next morning so I could get up and get dressed and ready for the lab. I realized when I was getting ready that I completely left my deodorant at home, and I had to use my husband's axe. I'm going to be smelling real nice today. Most teaching labs are part didactic and part cadaver, so typically I wear scrubs to the lab. I forgot to make coffee before I left the room, so I had to wait until I got to the lab before I could have my morning coffee. That was rough. I was really sad because it was actually really cold in Nashville this weekend. We got to the lab around 7.30 a.m. and I was finally able to get my coffee. I teach an ultra minimally invasive lumbar fusion technique and I have over 500 cases under my belt. I've been doing this procedure since 2016 and it makes me one of the most experienced surgeons in the country utilizing this particular technique. I was the course chair and there were two other surgeons that helped me teach the course. We had three cadavers and I taught three different surgeons. I also got my hands in and tried some endoscopic techniques. We were done a little bit after lunch and we took an Uber back to the hotel so we could get ready to experience Nashville. When you get to Nashville, there's one thing that's an absolute necessity and that's getting some cowboy boots. I don't know what it is about this city, but it's a must do. Here's our new boots and I got one with some pink in them and B is gonna be so jealous when I get home. We then went to a honky tonk bar in downtown Nashville and listened to some live music. There are so many bars on Broad Street and it's so much fun, I'm telling you what. I even actually met a couple of people that follow me on TikTok in the bar. It's always super flattering when people recognize me in public. This drummer in the band was a total vibe and I loved watching her play the drums. What else do you gotta do in Nashville? That's get a cowboy hat. I have yet to get a cowboy hat, so I actually picked out this one right here. Ray liked to model hats as well, and I thought he looked pretty good in this one. Once we had our hats picked out, we then had dinner at Sambuca, and the food here was also extremely excellent. And the ceiling decided to drop straight out of the sky, so we decided to pack it up to the hotel. We made the four hour drive back home this morning and had to stop at Bucky's. I was really excited to get home and see my babies, and they were really happy to see me as well.